Today, we'll be telling you all about Jeff Bezos's Blue Origin joining hands with the military. Bezos and his approaches to the company are certainly something different from the rest of the players in the game. Can Jeff Bezos give Musk and SpaceX competition? And what exactly do they plan on doing in this program? Stick around to the end to find out more. The expanding space sector is increasingly demonstrating that space was never just about research but also economic, strategic, and industrial benefits. Furthermore, as global mobility undergoes historical transitions in terms of sustainable development and technology, space is poised to become one of the new mobility's most essential components. People might one day be carried to space practically as readily as they are on Earth, as space tourism experiences of 2021 demonstrated. And if humans can go into space, why not cargo? For several years, the number of satellite launches with varied payloads has increased substantially. Things appear to be going in the direction of a world where space logistics are commonplace. For the U.S. Department of Defense, this development has obvious strategic implications. The United States Transportation Command, which is in charge of coordinating military logistics worldwide, is looking into using rockets to deliver freight and people into space. Now, let's give you a quick background about Blue Origin. Blue Origin is a privately funded American aerospace manufacturer and suborbital spaceflight services provider based in Kent, Washington. Jeff Bezos founded the firm in 2000. Its mission is to make access to space cheaper and more dependable by using reusable launch vehicles. Blue Origin is taking a progressive approach to transitioning from suborbital to orbital flight, with each step building on previous efforts. The firm's name alludes to the blue planet Earth as the site of Genesis. Blue Origin creates orbital technologies and rocket-powered vertical takeoff and landing vehicles to access suborbital and orbital space. In recent times, Blue Origin received NASA approval to use its new Glenn rocket for future Earth observation missions, planetary expeditions, and satellite launches, bringing the space business one step closer to the stars. Blue Origin received a whopping $1 billion grant from NASA to develop preliminary concepts for a human landing system for NASA's Artemis III mission, which seeks to put humans on the moon in 2024. Blue Origin is vying with Elon Musk's SpaceX and Alabama-based Dynetics to be the first company to take people to the moon in 2024, possibly. Bezos hinted that the business would also take the first woman there through one of his Instagram posts. Blue Origin entered the orbital spaceflight technology development sector in 2014, initially as a rocket engine provider for others with a contract to create a new big rocket engine, the BE-4, for United Launch Alliance, a major U.S. launch system operator. Blue Origin started in 2015 when it built and launched its own orbital launch vehicle, the New Glenn, from the Florida Space Coast. By the end of 2018, BE-4 was projected to have completed engine certification testing. However, by August 2021, ULA's flight engines had still not yet been certified, and an in-depth study published by Ars Technica highlighted significant technical and management issues with the BE-4 program. There is no surprise that Blue Origin is thriving, considering that it even got Pentagon's nuclear-powered spacecraft contract. They granted a $2.5 million contract to Blue Origin, Jeff Bezos' aerospace business, to construct a nuclear-powered spaceship. According to a release, Lockheed Martin and General Atomics were also chosen by the Pentagon's Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency for the first phase of developing and building the spacecraft. General Atomics received a $22.2 million contract to construct a tiny nuclear reactor to power a rocket. In comparison, Lockheed Martin received a $2.9 million contract to design a vehicle for the demonstration rocket for Agile Cislunar Operations Program, but we'll save that for another video. According to the most recent collaboration, they have now joined the military cargo program. Let's talk about how Blue Origin joined the military cargo program. Blue Origin has inked a collaboration agreement with the United States military to investigate the idea of utilizing their rockets to carry freight and people throughout the planet in the future. 
On December 17th, Cooperative Research and Development Agreement was signed with Blue Origin. The United States Transportation Command signed similar contracts with SpaceX and Exploration Architecture Corp, making Blue Origin the third business to sign a CRADA to participate in the rocket cargo program. Companies agree to exchange information about their goods and capabilities under CRADAs, but the government does not commit to purchasing anything. The examination of industry data conducted by U.S. Transcom will be used to guide the newly formed rocket freight program directed by the Air Force Research Laboratory and the United States Air Force. In its fiscal year budget proposal of 2022, the Air Force requests $47.9 million for research and rocket cargo missions. The rocket and cargo project will be modeling and simulations to assess the military value, performance, and cost of transferring cargo on commercial rockets and airdropping cargo payloads. The development of Starship is progressing, although the vehicle is not scheduled to fly just yet. Blue Origin's new Glenn Heavy Lift rocket is at least a year away from making its maiden orbital mission. The rocket's capabilities are, in reality, the least of the project's problems. There is no doubt that a rocket could go from Los Angeles to Guam in 40 minutes, a journey that would take 15 hours by plane. However, a problem is how rockets are incorporated into the transportation and supply chain. Spaceflight may be the more straightforward part. But how will they link the launch and retrieval to their testing global transportation network? That is what we will eventually determine whether or not rockets will be employed. If you're finding this video informative and enjoyable, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Now, let's continue with the challenges. Some concerns were pointed out previously and you might want to know about them, so stick around. Blue Origin has been studying the market for point-to-point -point space transportation, and there are still many unanswered questions. According to the military, rockets would give a quick response logistical capability for moving supplies during emergencies. However, the reality in the space business is that it takes around two years from the time a client requests that something be sent into space to when it is actually launched. According to Thomas Martin, head of National Security Initiatives, they can learn a lot from Transcom. According to Martin, reusable phases and capsules that deploy parachutes to land are among the technologies that may be required for point-to-point -point freight transfers. Blue Origin's lunar lander technology, which was developed by NASA, might be helpful. They're putting sensors to the test that will allow them to land on an unprepared lunar surface with pebbles and boulders. John M. Olson showed a series of rockets loaded with cargo pallets taking off from a spaceport and hitting the ground in the middle of a disaster-stricken area to deliver emergency relief supplies in a video animation shown at the conference. To make that vision a reality, the industry will have to solve fundamental problems like how it gets to the launch site, encapsulate the cargo, and how a rocket or capsule lands on a remote location with no infrastructure. Despite these obstacles, Martin believes the U.S. military will be a more attractive market for point-to-point -point space transportation than the commercial sector. Martin believes that the government has a lot of ideas about how to operate from a military standpoint. In the commercial sector, there aren't many applications. It's a challenging market, but they've begun to investigate it. Amazingly, Blue Origin bagged this contract along with its biggest competitors also as a part of the race. Several difficulties are yet to be overcome, but this plan should be in motion soon. This can be revolutionary, and if executed well, can prove to be a great success. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.